If you're familiar with the GraphQL specification, you'll know about the built-in scalars. The built-in scalars that GraphQL provides out of the box is int, float, string, boolean, and id. If you've worked with a GraphQL API that provides custom scalars, well, those are often declared and defined from the API service that you're using. And just like we've seen in another video where we created a scalar for email address, you can create custom scalars on your server that can be used in your schema. These scalars provide additional support for validation when you're working with your GraphQL API. Until now, the GraphQL JavaScript ecosystem has had a wide variety of different custom scalars that are provided and maintained by the guild. If you've used a custom scalar before, you're probably already aware of the specified by directive. Here you can provide a URL that points to the documentation or specification for that particular scalar. But until now, these specifications have somewhat varied between provider or maintainer. Starting today, the GraphQL community can now contribute to custom scalar specifications. This means that no matter your implementation language, the way in which all of your custom scalars work will or should be the same. You can get a glimpse into what this looks like already and the custom scalars that are available. And as of today, well, there are only one and that is for the date time. So here you can see wherever you invoke the daytime scaler inside of your server, you can provide the specified by URL to that specification that is approved in the GraphQL community. Most of the effort behind this is to eliminate the need to redefine all of these different specifications between the different provider APIs or the implementation languages. We'll have one way to do something with a specific scaler and that will work across the entire ecosystem, no matter what language or framework that you use. Before we end the video, let's have a look at a specification for date time and we can see what this looks like. This is very familiar if you've read the GraphQL specification before. And here we can see that this follows a specific format. And if you're contributing a new custom scaler specification, well, you'll want to format and follow this. So here for the day time, we can see that it is a refined version of this specific RFC. And we can see some of the things that are allowed and not allowed in some of the examples here. So if you want to get involved with creating and defining a custom scalar spec, well, you can read the contribution guide on GitHub and you can contribute there.